Outlander bombshell. Sam Hugan drops juicy details on Jamie and Claire's most intimate moment yet. Hallmark's point spills the tea. Outlander fans are eagerly awaiting the second half of season seven to find out how the bombshell series will end. However, many people have taken to re-watching the previous seasons to get their fix from the current Droughtlander. Luckily, fans can also look forward to the release of the prequel Blood of My Blood, which has started filming again in Glasgow. The hit star series saw Diana Gabaldon's best-selling books come to life for the historical romance of Claire and Jamie Fraser. And now Sam Hewen, who plays Jamie, has opened up about his favorite moment between the two characters, with Katriona Balf starring as Claire. Despite their many adventures, it's a moment from the first season, which is the actor's most fond memory. When asked by BuzzFeed News what his favorite ever Claire and Jamie scene is, the Scottish hunk responded with a smile according to the Scottish Express and said, there's a lot of love in Outlander. You know, it always goes back to season one. The wedding, I think, is, you know, new love, right? People falling in love, he added. It comes as Katriona also opened up previously about her experiences as Claire in the hit TV adaptation, admitting she struggled with challenging scenes in series seven, some of which yet to air, following her dad's tragic passing. The actress dad, James, Jim Balf passed away in August 2022, and she confessed to hitting some low points during filming. She hinted to fans during the ATX TV festival that there's bigger and better to come, although episodes could contain rather grim watching. Outlander's Sam Hewen has shared his favorite moment between his character Jamie and Claire, played by Catriona Balf. Fans are eagerly waiting for the second half of season seven and the prequel, Blood of My Blood, which is currently filming in Glasgow. Jamie and Claire have had many intense moments throughout the series, but Human's favorite is from the first season. Speaking to BuzzFeed News, he said, there's a lot of love in Outlander. You know, it always goes back to season one. The wedding, I think, is, you know new love, right? People falling in love. In other news, fans will have the opportunity to meet Hugen at LandCon, a convention dedicated to the popular show, in Paris, France, in April. Fans of the show Outlander will gather for the sixth edition of the LandCon on April 13 and 14. This event is all about the series based on Diana Gabaldon's novel. Fans will get to meet a dozen cast members, including Cesar Domboy, David Barry Lauren Lyle, Richard Rankin, and Sophie Skelton. The star-studded weekend has been topped off with the news that Hewan will also be there. For the latest local news and features on Irish America, visit our homepage here. Outlander's executive producer admitted there are major historical inaccuracies in the hit show. Matthew B. Roberts said that shooting in Scotland was easier for keeping things historically accurate thanks to the many castles that fit with the show's time and place. He said finding filming locations in Scotland that matched the Outlander time period was not difficult at all. However, making scenes for the American settings was a big challenge and often resulted in noticeable historical inaccuracies in the TV show. Speaking on the official Outlander podcast, he said, you can throw a rock and hit a castle in Scotland but you can't throw a rock and find a clapboard town. Matthew also mentioned the extra difficulty when showing the characters from the show traveling up the east coast of America while staying true to historical environments. But he did share one plus point, the old geological link between what's now the eastern United States and the UK, as they have the same mountain ranges. Still, there are other things in Outlander that aren't historically correct. One big mistake in the show is about the colors of Jamie Fraser's tartans. Jamie is part of the Highland clan Fraser of Lovett, which is different from the Lowland Fraser family. Usually, the Fraser of Lovett tartans had bright red and green colors in their kilts. But in the show, the characters from this clan are seen wearing gray and blue tartans, which is not correct. 
A big disappointment for fans of Outlander is finding out that Crane Dunn, the famous standing stones, are not real. These stones are very important to the series, linked to many key moments. In real life, though, such stones don't exist. While Scotland has similar standing stones, none of them are arranged like the ones at Crane Dunn. And of course, they don't have the time travel powers that the stones in Outlander have. Outlander will be back for the second half of season 7 in 2024.